see what I'm up to now. Excellent. Good job. Good job team. Okay so we're back out of the hole on the workbench here. You can see from this diagram top of the pump and then we've got uh, eight and a half inches to the top of the sump. The sump is two inches thick and the limestone is three inches down the outside of the sump. Yeah so we've got five inches before things start flooding and I'd ideally want to keep it lower than that. Um, what can I tell you? Eh? That means we can't use the nice stainless steel floats that I've got. Uh, I'll just remind you, this is a twin float design, yeah? So the, the bottom one comes on, nothing happens. Top one comes off, comes on, pump switches on. Top one goes down and the pump doesn't switch off again until the bottom one goes down, yeah? Um, just saves the pump flicking on and off too frequently and burning itself out. Um, either way, that's uh, four and a half inches of float there, yeah? So we'd have the fluid level change four and a half inches, which would take us over the height of the gravel. So, fortunately, <laughs> you know, uh, I do have a couple of these, not quite so sexy, but probably just as a... Uh, just as reliable, maybe even more reliable, foam floats or foam polymer floats. Um, the insulation on the wires is a lot nicer, so that makes me a bit happier. And um, we'll have to build something to, to set these with just an inch difference, yeah, which doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, it will be dropping the water level on the outside as well, and that will be getting coming through the pipe, you know. So um, it's not just the the volume inside the sump that we're thinking about now is it it's the volume uh in the gravel the volume of water that's you know in the drainage gravel so let's uh let's knock up a little um a little uh thingy bob um <laughs> a little bracket and uh and try and stick these down the hole see what happens temporary floats okay i don't like this setup but i don't like this pump for the job I've got a feeling we're going to end up doing some more experimenting with some of the pumps that failed due to sediment. Yeah. Well, 
Right, this is the, the setup that we've got. This is going to clamp onto what will eventually be the grating ring of the, of the sump. And we've got two floats and they're very close together, look, yeah? Um, but they should be just, uh, just about the top of the pump here, yeah? So let's, uh, let's see if we can fit this in a satisfactory manner. I've already tested it up top, so I know it works. Um, but we've got to obviously run the wire up in the caging that I put up on the, on the side of this pipe. Can you see there? Can you see? Can you see? Oh, I can't even see now. Yeah, not great. So we could, uh, right, there we go. That's a bit of a ride, isn't it, hey? Yeah, yeah lovely. lovely. I did bring a 10 wheel spanner down, didn't I? Get out of my fucking sump, you filthy bastards. Go on, away with you. You see it again? One last time. Okay. This uh, cable up. This is four core cable. It's got me. Got to be four core. A little bit heavy, but it's the lightest stuff I could get. It wasn't too ferociously expensive. Not that there's any such thing as cheap cable, but uh, yeah, let's run this up. Okay, pump's running. Let's just uh, check it's going to switch off. Perfect. Okay, so we've we got both of them down, bottom one up. Top one up it runs, top one down, bottom one down it stops. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so you can see the water level, I don't know, maybe you can't see that. It's, I don't know, just uh, an inch below the surface of the gravel at the minute. It shouldn't ever get up this high again now. Uh, you can see that the, the top float is currently like two inches below the water level. I can actually hear the water coming out of the gravel. Um, but we're not spongy. That's good. It still isn't tamped down completely. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna leave it like this now and and what? Hopefully, with any luck, um, it will settle a bit, won't it, you know? Like settlers in settle. <laughs> I don't know what else it would mean. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Anyway, uh, I was just playing around with these camera angles. If they're absolute pants, then you're probably not going to see this video. I wasn't going to make a standalone video about this, but I fancy just messing around with the camera for a bit. Ah, uh, There we go, lovely. <laughs> all right, I'll catch you all again soon, folks. Take it easy. See you later. Bye-bye.